get with your bag? Yeah. Finally have my first pair of gentle monster sunglasses. <laughs> We're gonna walk around the exchange mall and probably pavilion for the entire day, so let's just see what stores they have. Hello guys! It's the day after the wedding and honestly it's been very very hectic and we did move to another place to stay because the other place that we stayed at was actually really bad. The first it was a very nice modern looking but when we got there the room actually had a random gumball drop behind the door. Literally I closed the door and then the toilet and then when you sit on the toilet, you just see this brown gumball drop in front of you. The toilet itself was actually not that clean either. The main main problem that we had was the bed sheets. It was dirty through and through. The blanket was also dirty. The pillow sheets were also dirty. And we asked for new bed sheets. And even with the new bed sheets, there were still stains. So ultimately, we decided to move to this Airbnb, which is absolutely beautiful. The views are gorgeous. You can see the mountains from here, see the buildings and all the different walks of life in Malaysia here. It's definitely a huge upgrade from the other place. And I'm just really happy that we decided to do this because we want to be comfortable. We want to fully relax when we come back from walking around and exploring Kuala Lumpur. So I'm just really happy we made this move. <laughs> Today was actually a little bit more of a chill kind of day. We just wanted to catch up with Brandy and Fernando before they left for the other part of their vacation. And then kind of just wanted to explore, exchange, is a gentle monster. And then yeah, just basically walk around, get our steps in. And we're about to go head to Jalan Food Street, which is one of the most popular food streets in KL. That's going to be our dinner tonight. And then we're going to come back here, unwind, and then prepare for tomorrow because we're getting a facial. Her lip is sweating. It's so spicy that it was sweating. Mm. It's the spot after that nasi lemak. 
Good morning everyone. I feel like my allergies are really kicking in because I haven't really been able to get proper sleep because of the jet lag. So my nose is kind of stuffy right now. I'm feeling a little warm but I can still function. But we're about to go get breakfast. We're gonna go to a place called If Only. It's only a nine minute drive from here so if we get a grab we can go there and eat and then depending on the time we can either explore pavilion a little bit more because last time when we went with Brandy and Fernando we only just strolled around a bit but I'm gonna do some more hardcore shopping because I packed like I was gonna buy more clothes here and then after pavilion we'll go get a nice facial relax and then I'm hoping after the facial because we'll just be laying there I can wake up feeling a little bit more refreshed and not like how I'm feeling right now because it's just a really casual day today I just want to be relaxed I'm not gonna wear any jewelry today because of the facial so just keeping it very simple this top is from Estier and then I'm hanging with these Gray trousers from Drip Avenue. And for the hair, I just did a, what is this called? Half up do? But I just did this so I can keep some of the hair out of my face. Let's go get breakfast. desperately needs it. Dehydration serum or... Uh, this one is the pigmentation, so we can see Facial is done, skin is glowing, and apparently my acne, this part, is gonna start peeling over the next few days. And now we're gonna go back to Pavilion to do some shopping. I go to Uniqlo first to find a cardigan though, because these malls are super cool. And the transition from humidity to 